Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I had some fun, and the reason for this is this. I tried to build a mech. Being a long-time fan of the Battletech series and all uh, mecha things considered, I wanted to try to build something like, well, a mech in Kerbal Space Program using the B9 mod and, of course, Infernal Robotics. And this is the result. It does not have a ringing name yet, but it is a cool little contraption that I made. And it can do quite a lot of stuff. So, let's try it out. First of all, we get a Kerbal inside that turret, but no, it's not for shooting stuff. It's for science, or rather transmitting science data to maybe a satellite in orbit, or a station up in orbit, or directly to the home planet. We can rotate the turret, we can tilt the turret, and of course, we, Kerbal Space Program being Kerbal Space Program, we would not need an, a Kerbonaut in there at all for it to work, but it's a nice touch, I guess. So we fold the antenna back in and get our little Kerbal back out and back into the cockpit. Which is of course the B9 cockpit that I really like for uh, these kinds of builds because it has great visibility and a lot of windows. And it also looks really cool. So we also have some solar panels, because this thing uses a lot of electricity. You may have already noticed the amount of reaction wheels I am using, and yes, they are a lot. I'm also using uh, the B9 Air RCS system to stabilize this, and I'm using lander cans as sort of a means to get the Kerbal from the top to the bottom without using ladders on the entire side of the mech. So we just climb into the foot, transfer the Kerbal to the cockpit and off we go. Speaking of going, before we can go I want to show you uh, some other things I can do. I can twist the torso for instance and there are a lot of other functions that we're gonna try out later. But first, we will try to walk this thing. And for this, we need mech jab. Because, whoops, yes. Walking, in order to walk in a straight line, I have to set the heading in mech jab and uh, use the surface uh, smart SAS and then try to keep everything level while pressing the action group buttons that move the legs. 1 and 2 move the left leg, 3 and 4 move the right leg. If I press 1 and 3, the mech moves up. If I press 2 and 4, the mech moves down. So I have to press 2 and 3 and 1 and 4 uh, consecutively for this thing to walk. And in the meantime, also try to balance it if mech jab is not up to the task. So and sometimes I have to reset the legs because uh, they're not so fine-tuned as I hoped. And then we can take a walk again. But I want to show you something else. And in order to do that, we have to turn around, which is also a little bit tricky, but I have found a method to do that. And here we are doing it right now. Well, wobbling a little bit but that's due to the high center of gravity and of course the long legs of this little thing. And we're turning slowly but steadily and it really takes ages, which is why in the next few scenes I have sped the video up to four times regular speed so you don't get bored by watching me fiddling around with this. So once again stabilizing a little bit and then doing a turn, yes, that was quite an aggressive turn to be honest, but it worked out in the end. 
You know, wanna know something funny? If I would not use that lander cans and that landing gear, I could turn on the spot on those uh, adapter thingies from the B9 mod. They're some kind of, well, pro they have some kind of properties that enable them to be like Teflon or something. And here we take a hike back to the runway because we want to get to that piece of debris that's lying there. It was kind of the umbilical that kept the mech level when launching so it does not tip over in the first second after the launch. So once again stabilizing and lifting it up, setting the mech jab command to the next heading. Yes, it's a little bit, uh, well, more safe to change the heading in MacJam and then keep trying to walk regularly instead of just manually making the turn, but you can manage. Of course, some smarter people than me would be able to put all those commands into Kerbal OS or KOS or Chaos or whatever you want to call it, but I'm doing this completely manually here because I don't know how to program shit. Well, I learned Turbo Pascal in the 90s, but yeah, that's like 17 years ago or something that I have last opened one of those programs, so no, I don't code and I cannot code. I would very much like to, do, to know how, but I don't have the time to learn it, unfortunately. Because I have to do some Kerbal Space Program videos just for you, my dear viewers, and I thank you very much for you watching them. And now we can try out our grapplers. Yes, we have some articulation in our arms and we can extend them and... Whoa! Hey, Elton Kerman is still in the foot of the walker. Well, that should not be because he's the main pilot. So we transfer him back and we can watch the operation from the cockpit. Unfortunately, as soon as I switch to the cockpit, the control also switched, switches to the cockpit and everything starts wobbling. That's why I switch back to that small probe core I got at the base of the mech, which should always point straight ahead. Which is useful, of course, if you turn your torso or anything else. But we're not quite in range and now we're just about to grapple our own left foot off and we don't want that. Okay, freed the grappler, freed the, the arm or the hand or whatever you want to call it. And why don't you attach to that debris? I really don't want to start walking again because it's tedious and yes, we have a lock. So let's look at this from the cockpit. Beautiful view, isn't it? But that's a little bit unstable, so we want to use our second arm in order to grab that equipment. Well, if it was equipment. You may notice the blue spotlights. I'm using them color-coded to see where I'm pointing to grapplers. Uh, of course, because at night I can activate a lot of lights on that walker in order for it to see its surroundings. So we got our cargo and well now we can try to get it somewhere else. Let's make a turn for that. Whoops. Yeah, center of gravity is now a little bit off thanks to that debris hanging in the front. Maybe I could have remedied that by lifting it on over my head, like into the center of gravity of the walker, but uh, yeah, so that happened. But no biggie, because we can stand right back up again. Yes, no problem for this mighty walking machine. And of course, if I would have a KOS program or script or whatever that could control that walker, Maybe that would not have happened at all, but of course me just punching some action group keys to move it is a lot more, well, prone to errors. As once again I have proven to you. 
And of course, I can imagine this won't be the last time. Since this thing wobbles around a lot and also, well, has lost a bit of its stability. And yeah, yeah, once again, falling down, falling over. And that's not really fun at all, to be honest, because let's be clear, it I would have been way faster with some kind of rover and a crane or whatever, but yeah, I tried to make something that looks cool. And in this case, function tried to follow form, but did not catch up really. So that's when I started to think how I could make this thing move a little bit more reliably. And yeah, let's see what happened. So let's set this to three times the speed that it should be, all that the original it was. So this is 1.5, again 1.5, so let's see what happens. If my calculations are correct, this thing should, well, it should perform somewhat akin to a jump. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a failure, but it was a fun failure. Despite all the hilarity, I thought I was onto something, so I tried my mech out on the moon in full jumping configuration and as you can see right from the start due to the lower gravity the jumps were a lot more likely to be able to be controlled and another jump and yes it looked good at first so uh, once again i'm gonna speed this up for you Whoa, just one more jump. Looks a little bit like a leapfrog from that angle. So we're jumping one more and trying to slow down. Jumping one more. So how do we can how can we get this thing in a stable position after all those jumps? So that's what I tried here. Just don't really push the legs back down when you land, just let the flexibility cushion the drop. And well, it seemed to work. So I decided, why not jump some more since we're at it. And off we go with our jumping mech or kangaroo mech or whatever you may call it. And once more, doing, doing, doing. Well, a little bit less doing, but jumping nonetheless. And yeah, I messed up. I messed up because I pushed the wrong buttons. And even though I can do backflips with this, the mech is not seriously damaged, but keeps on jumping nevertheless. What a happy little piece of machinery. Yay! Some more flips and some more explosions. And now we only got one leg. But since this is working on Kerbin, which has much higher gravity than the moon, and since me being me, I tried to keep on jumping. But of course, we had some tilt sideways and yeah, it did not work out that well. So goodbye little Mac, it's been a pleasure. But maybe other planets are more forgiving, so I went to Duna. And yeah, well Duna being Duna, there are a lot of steep inclinations there. And yeah, right from the start 
you can see it's not that easy to control this thing there. But I managed to get down at least a few hundred meters. Well, I guess it was a few hundred meters before, yeah, everything kind of went downhill in more than just one way. Yeah, we lost about everything on the right leg. Now we lost our science equipment, still hobbling on on one leg way too fast and yeah we lost the cockpit so what about eve eve has the highest gravity and as you can see well jumps are not really a possibility there so i gave up and tried gilly which has almost no gravity at all and this was so boring so really really boring that i well did not enjoy it at all even though i can get almost into or maybe i could get into orbit when pushing off in the right angle but uh yeah this this took way too long so i tried another planet or moon rather and that was late but yeah it was late and i did not even manage to get that thing up right there but you can imagine similar results to duna so some jumping and maybe some crashing and not just crashing right from the start like here so that's the story of my jumping mech thanks so much for watching goodbye